بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه اللهم اجعل جمعنا هذا جمعا مرحوما واجعل التفرق بعده تفرقا معصوما ولا تدع فينا شقيا ولا محروما In the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most compassionate the most merciful all praise and thanks are due to him and peace and blessings be upon his beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam he who is guided by the will of Allah no one can misguide him and he who is misguided no one can guide him except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh About two weeks ago I was in Halifax in a da'wah tour uh, In one of the masajid the imam told me the following story I want to share with you It contains a lot of khair It will give you an amazing hope how generous Allah is The imam says that uh, months ago one of the Canadian sisters white Canadian sister she was interested in Islam so she kept coming to that masjid, come back and forth asking something about Islam, goes back, comes again, asks some questions, disappears, comes again, asks questions, but has not decided to take a decision, you know, to convert or to revert to Islam or not. He said, I was in Umrah, this is this Ramadan. Before Ramadan, with a few days, he went to Umrah. He said, while I was in Umrah, I received from a message from this sister she said I decided to become a Muslim please I want to embrace Islam I want to come to the masjid he said to her I'm not in the masjid so please go you can find sisters I mean it's easy just they will help you and they will help you to say the shahada and everything is okay she said please I don't want to say it unless you are there because he was the source of knowledge for her she kept asking him for months and months so does not feel comfortable to do this ceremony you know in, uh, unless he is here. He said, okay, I will come in the first of Ramadan, this Ramadan. <laughs> and when I come, I will uh, ask you and you will come again. Okay, he came in the first day, sent her immediately. She came, I think, the first or the second day of Ramadan, which means just a few days ago. Uh, she came, he said, she came just a while before the Maghrib. When the Maghrib came, he said, please, I will leave you here. Just, we need to break the iftar and just I need to do the prayer on the Imam. And we will come back, so, so that not to leave here alone, look now. He just opened the door and went to the sister sections randomly. Any sister in his face, his sister, please, can you come and stay with, we, there is a sister, she wants to embrace Islam. Can you just stay with her 10 minutes, 15 minutes, till I finish, and we will come and you help me so as not to stay alone. Okay, okay. It happened by the will of Allah, this sister is an Egyptian sister. Chat with her, he said, I left them. I finished the prayer, I came back, and I found most of them, they are in a very, very strange emotional status. As if both of them, they were crying for a while. <laughs> okay, what is the story? Look how Allah is generous. Now the Canadian sister, she discovered that this Egyptian sister was the first person who introduced her to Islam seven years ago without anyone knowing each other. Look how. Seven years ago, this sister from Egypt came to that to Halifax with her husband, it seems. She was having this kind of urge to do da'wah. No masajid, no community centers. Uh, the community is much less than this area. So she decided to do the following. You know the Kijiji, like a marketplace. She decided to do the following on Kijiji. She made accounts with a nickname and she started to collect free copies from the Quran and she started announcing if you are interested to know something about Islam please just send me a message I will send you a free copy of the Quran now this Canadian sister seven years ago she found this ad this ad, ad she sent to him a message I want a copy from the Quran now with a nickname and she sent her a copy she started reading about Islam seven years ago then she decided to become a Muslim just a few days ago. When she decided to become a Muslim, Allah made the Imam bring that sister. <laughs> the Imam does not know, the sister, the Egyptian sister herself does not know, and the Canadian does not know. When he left her with her alone, in that few minutes, they were introducing themselves to each other. The first question. How did you know about Islam and why did you start to come to Islam? She said, seven years ago, I was looking at Kijiji, someone sent me a copy. She started crying. She said, it's me, <laughs> because I was the one who was doing this with this nickname. <laughs> 
Now, the, the, the story is finished. Subhanallah. Who on earth was aware of this? Who was able to let seven years, look, seven years, look how millions and trillions of possibilities could have happened, okay? And when she decided in that specific moment and insisted that the Imam will come and the Imam randomly, you know, the iftar was for about 400, 500, 1,000 person. Open the door, just the sister, sister, please, can you come and help me? It was her. <laughs> now, we call it in our simple language, sudfa, coincidence. According to the law of Allah, it's not... No, 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 it's not coincidence. <laughs> it's well designed, well prepared, well controlled by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by the way, Allah is able to do all of these things so easily. The idea that maybe Allah is just revealing or uncovering some of these stories to us, just to, to, to keep our hearts steadfast on the truth. We need to trust in this. So therefore, when you do the khair, that sister had no idea. Allahu alam. She maybe distributed hundreds of copies. We know about one? One incident, which is this story. We know it directly from a trustworthy source. Directly from the person himself. And Allah knows how many hundreds. Allah knows this sister from Egypt when she passes away, inshallah, بعد عمر طويل, how many millions or billions of hasanat she might be waiting or hundreds of Muslims who became Muslims because of these copies. So let's always, always believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is able to do anything and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al Karim. The only challenge is do I have the willingness and the sincerity to do or not? Inshallah. Now before I forget subhanallah, this reminded me with Al Furqan project. You know about Furqan project? Furqan project is an amazing, one of the most beautiful projects in Canada. Just go, Al Furqan project. It's a project to distribute every year one million copy of the Quran for non Muslims. That's it, just every year. And they decided to do it with the clear Quran of Brother Mustafa Khattab, the best, one of the best translations of the meaning of the Quran, the clear Quran. So sometimes they keep just distributing for non-Muslims. And to the best of my knowledge, number one reason for revert to Islam is reading from a copy of the Quran. Number one, when you ask, you know, those hundreds of thousands who come to Islam, how did you come? You say, for example, 10% because of friend, 15% because of YouTube channel, 5% of what such and such and we say highest percentage, I read a copy from a Quran. <laughs> so please do your best to support this project. Jazakumullah khair. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of your deeds and let every night be Laylatul Qadr for all of you. Don't forget always to keep making dua to each other. When you do the sujood and the ruku' say, Ya Allah, accept from my brother to my left, my brother to my, <laughs> you know, to my right. Everyone in this masjid, everyone who's making dua, everyone, Ya Allah, make dua for yourself and for those who pray around. You, you never know. Maybe one of us will be from those of mustajab al-dawah. All of us will be accepted, inshallah.